Hello everyone, today we will learn how to send emails for webhook responses. Now there are certain applications that you might not find as a trigger in Pabli Connect. But if they provide webhook integration, then no worries. You can create an automation of those applications with the help of this feature that is webhook in Pabli. So let us learn how to create this automation in Pabli Connect where our trigger will be the response received in that webhook and our action will be to send a confirmation email via Gmail. Let us learn how to do that. So let us create an automation where you can retrieve or capture information from any particular application using a webhook and then send a confirmation email to that person. For this automation or this video, I am going to use JotForm as the application because JotForm uses webhook URL to integrate. So we will create the automation using Pabli. Let us quickly sign in into our account. And then I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. We are going to use Pabli Connect to create this workflow. So click on access now and then you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect where you can see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as send email for webhook responses and click on create. There you can see two windows appear in front of you. One has trigger and other has action written over it. Now trigger says when this happens and action says do this, which means whichever is going to be your trigger application, that will have an event in it that will trigger the whole workflow and then it will enable the action application to perform the assigned action. So our trigger application is webhook. Because we are going to use webhook for such applications which are not available as a trigger in Pabli Connect. For example, I am going to use JotForm over here which uses webhook URL to integrate. So you are going to use this webhook URL to integrate it with JotForm and use this webhook URL to get the response from the JotForm responses. So now I have created a form over here, complaint form, which I will integrate it with this webhook URL. So I will go to settings, then integrations on the left panel and search for webhook right here. Click on webhooks. And then in this place where it's written add webhook, I have to enter this webhook that is provided to me in Pabli Connect. Paste it over here and click on complete integration. The integration will be done in two seconds and then click on finish. Once this is done, I will fill up this form so that we can receive a response over here because Pabli Connect workflow is waiting for a webhook response. So now I will fill the form with the details. I am going to fill the name as demo user, the email address as this and then there is, an, there is a query that you want to explain because it's a complaint form. So the query is going to be, this is the query, submit the form and as soon as you submit this form, you go back to Pabli Connect and see that a response appears over here. So this is the URL that you have used. Then the form is complaint form. Here you can see that all the details like the name of the person, the email and also the query is also here, which means that we have successfully received the response from this webhook. So whichever application you are going to use to connect this webhook and Pabli Connect, the response from that application will be received like this. Now the action application or the last step we can call is to send emails. So the email is going to be for a confirmation email that a form has been successfully received or a query has been successfully registered. So the event will be send email, connect your Gmail, add new connection with your Google account. Click on allow. And then the authorization is successful. Now once it is done, you have to fill in certain fields which are generally required to compose an email. So the recipient email address is the person whosoever has filled the form and you want to send that specific person a confirmation email. So you have to do some mapping over here. Now what is mapping? Mapping is actually to insert the data from the previous step into the action application fields. Like this is our action application fields over here and you, when you click on any empty field, it will ask you to insert from the previous step. And for that previous step, they give you the whole list of details which were received as a response. So which is the email address that you want to send? It's this one. Okay, then in CC and BCC, you can add more email addresses in different cases, but not in this case, it's not required. Now, what is the sender name? The sender name is JotForm. Okay, what is the email subject? The email subject over here is complaint form. Okay. Now what is the content? The content is dear 
the person who filled the form, which is demo space user, comma, and slash n. Why? Because slash n is a substitute for the enter key that works on your keyboard. So the la line, whichever you line you are going to write after n will appear in the next line. This is the message that I have drafted and there is no other attachment that I want to continue with. So I will just click on save and send test request and then a response will be received which will say it's sent. Now save this and then we will check our email that have we received the email or not. Here you can see jot form has sent a mail. Now when you open it you can see the subject is complaint form and this is the message that we just drafted which means that we are successful in sending a confirmation email to any person who fills that specific form. So this was the whole workflow where our trigger application was used as webhook that is built inside Pabli only. You captured the webhook response through any application which integrates itself through the use of webhook URL. Then we had the action application as Gmail. We filled in the details that were required to send a mail and then we successfully sent a confirmation mail. I hope this helps. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.